all right welcome to this high elo noobs game uh we have aris whoop and red versus um chuddy okay uh does some interesting name and i'm pretty sure i butchered both of them but i'm sure they will forgive me and as we know high elo noobs is the series where we give high elo players the low elo treatment and we have both players Eris and Tom Chuddy playing a Hans mirror match and this is the second game for the day where it's a mirror match I guess players are just kind of getting fed up of, of fighting the meta so <laughs> they're just saying alright whatever my opponents play I'm gonna play so he doesn't have an advantage over me I respect that I respect that very much and so far it looks like uh, Eris has found all his sheep uh, good work my friend and let's see how Tom Chuddy is doing. He found all the ship. I'm just gonna turn the fog of war on. It's it's two minutes into the game, and I think he has. Okay, all right. So far, so good. All right, I'll give props where props are due. You know, I don't only just attack players. I also give props. And so the last match I was casting, we had a. Uh, an interesting dark age fight where most of the game was just militia versus militia. Uh, I don't expect to see a militia rush this game from either Hunt's player, but you know it's 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 never too late to change the meta, guys. You know, I mean, you may make a big mistake, and we may point it out and say why is this guy making militia as Hunt's, but sometimes they gotta try some wacky strats and see what works. All right, both players. Uh, they both have eleven bills each. They're lowering in their pool. They're scouting the map. A uh, fairly good play going on. Uh, nothing too fancy to report on. Tom um, Chuddy uh, is only now finding his last two sheep, but that's fine. Over here at Eris's camp, he's lowering in his deer. Very good work, sir. But he's lowering in the deer and the boar. Okay, uh, good luck. I mean, you know, if it was me, uh, I'd have like two dead bills by now. I'd have one bill die to the boar, and somehow, miracul miraculously, I would have had a bill die to the to the deer. Don't ask me how. Alright, we're going Evil. over to Tom Chuddy again. He's going to lock in his second boy. He had like one second of vital time there. I saw that. Probably let that slide. Okay, so both players are lowering their boy and their day at the same time. That's very good. I mean, at the very least, if you're not going to see some mistakes, you may as well see some cool gameplay. So, you need to ask yourself, what are you going to do in a Hunts vs. Hunts mirror match? Is one player gonna go off meta? Let me look at their ladder real quick. I mean, so obviously Cav Archers. Uh, the bread and butter of Hunts. Tarkins are a decent option. But who's gonna be man enough and pull off the full petard push? Think about it. Think about it. You're in a Hunts mirror match. Would you ever expect to see 10 petards coming towards the Cavalry Archers? In a Hans vs. Hans mirror match? I mean, no, I wouldn't expect it. Scouts into Knights, Cav Archers. Yeah, I mean, okay. It's the obvious play. But sometimes you just wanna... You wanna break the meta, you know? Both players are at 19 pop. If anybody's going Scouts, we may see like a 21 pop and Feudal Age. Okay, so both players are... Are going Feudal Age at the same time, but Tom Chuddy is one villager ahead. That's that that's that's dangerous news for for Eris. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna see a rush this game. I think in the last game we had like fifty militia in Dark Age. I think they did enough rushing for like the next ten games. Sacher. 
All right. Oh, we got the bags coming up for Chum for Tom Chuddy. I am going to guess the Brax is out there because he's gonna go into into horses. So I don't think we are going to see any drushes, but that's all right. I had enough drushing last game, and these bills are running a marathon to get this gold. I mean, all right. Is he gonna drop it off? Okay, yeah, he drops it off. He's he's not a loop. He's he's not gonna commit. Oh, the scout is getting attacked by the TC. I mean, he lost like 10 HP there, and now he's gonna get chased down by Tom Chuddy's scout. So, but he's getting the hill fight bonus. So, okay, all right, just both players distracting each other. Fight, scout versus scout, and who? Okay, so it looks like Tom Chuddy's gonna get the hit. Okay, he fought on the hill, but there was really no way. I guess he just wanted to do some extra damage before he dies, which is fair. Fair enough. What else could he have done hey, there? So we have the stable coming down for Tom Chuddy. He is definitely gonna go into scouts. And over at Eris's base, he also is, is bringing the scouts out. Okay, so we're gonna see a scouts versus scouts mirror match here. So, so far, both players are just gonna do the exact same thing as each other. And whoever is the highest skilled player will, I guess, just dominate the opponent. And of course, Arabia was nerfed recently to, like, really prevent you from walling too easily. But so far in every game we've, we've viewed tonight, players are saying, you know what, you can nerf... Listen, Age of Empires Definitive Edition. You can nerf Arabia all you want. We are still gonna put up our palisade walls, man. And you gotta respect the commitment. So, uh, we have the horses AFK in both builds, in both bases. Neither players wants to really go out and commit. Although Tom Chaddy had a big lead there because he, uh, Ares has one less scout than he is, but he's using his scout to patrol in the back here. Now, I know you're thinking he's probably patrolling because in case a scout comes to kill his veil, he'll protect it, but I'm going to choose to think that he's just uh, wasting time in the corner there. And what is Eris doing? Oh, nice pick by Eris. And Tom Charlie should have known better than to send that low HP scout out there. Now Eris has a boost of confidence. I think he wants to move out. Tom Chuddy. Even though he has a pretty big lead with one, being one scout ahead, he is content to just idling the scouts outside his base. Uh, he wants to protect this hill. Okay. Alright. You better watch out because Eris is he's on you, man. And yeah. And somehow Eris... Okay, no, they're even in scouts now. Yes. So they both, right, so they both have five military each. I think they have, oh no, okay, so Tom Chuddy is getting ahead of Eris in terms of the military. Let's see, Eris has five scouts, Tom Chuddy has one, two, three, four, five, so it's five versus five. Eris is gonna take the high ground and Tom Chuddy is gonna walk right into it. Okay, oh, not that. Eris kind of fubbed that a, bit, a little bit. Ooh, and here we had a spearman coming out for Tom Chuddy. Can Ares even... So Ares can't really even get in his base right now. Neither players can really get into each other's bases. So... They are going to... Have to boom... Into Castle Age. Real soon. And Tom Chuddy is trying to take down the gate. Uh, he has a single villager repairing it. So you can keep whacking at the gate all you want. You're not gonna get in. Eris is trying to... is he gonna break the... no, he's just gonna idle by the palisade. Uh, he's, giving the, he's giving the horses time to rest and relax. And okay, so I think he wants to come back and defend. I don't know why though, you could just make like one... Yeah, you can't make one statement against five scouts. That would be a true low elo mistake right there. Alright. I must say, so far not a lot. It's been... 
an eventful game, sort of, but like not really. We're just seeing scouts run away from each other. We've seen scouts island on hillside. We've seen scouts attacking gates while they're being repaired. You know. And now we're seeing Tom Truddy run up to the hill and fight Ares. No, he's just gonna run back down the hill. He's not gonna fight. Neither players are trying to get to Castle Age real quick. Oh, and the spearmen are coming out. But they're not gonna. They're not gonna get anywhere. I think right now, uh, Tom Chuddy is wasting a bit of time. Okay, he's taking the fight. But uh, this is a very bad engagement for Ares. He's gonna. Um, okay, so Tom Chuddy lost the fight. But he had no reason to because he had the military advantage. I, I can account for why we lost that. But we'll. Uh, we we'll, we'll let that one go. And we see double range is coming out from Tom Trudy. He's gonna make the tech switch into cavalry archers. Now if you ask me, if you're in a Hunt vs. Hunt's mirror match, you probably don't want to... Will Tom Trudy take this fight, man? You have 4 vs. 5. And the HP losses aren't, aren't that bad in your favor. So I think what's happening here is Tom Trudy is focusing on his equal at home. Yeah, Tom Chaddy is focusing on his eco at home. So he probably doesn't want to take the engagements. We will give him the benefit of the doubt. Okay? We sometimes like to be generous here on high yellow moves. And both players are on their way to Castle Age. Uh, we have Tom Chaddy going up to Castle Age at 60%. We have Eris going up to Castle Age at 48%. But here's the kicker, guys Tom Chaddy has three archery ranges out. Eris literally just has his starting stable. So I really don't know. I think I think uh, Eris has been spending too much time microing his units. Because he is gonna fall way behind. Is Tom Chuddy? Okay. Okay, is he gonna go to Cavalry Archers? I mean he's playing Hans. Yes, he's going to Cavalry Archers. So Tom Chuddy's in Castle Age for the Cavalry Archers. I want to see what. Uh, listen, listen. Here on High Elo Noobs, we believe in our players, okay? I want to believe that Eris is there at home thinking to himself Tom Chuddy is ahead of me. He's gonna go for the meta. I need to do something wacky and out there. I want to see. Okay, and also, um, uh, Eris did uh, spot these two ranges at least. So he must know he's either making cavalry archers or archers, right? And Eris is gonna go for the knights. So at least he's 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 playing off the meta a bit, so you see something interesting in this game. But I don't think uh these knights are gonna do very well against these masked uh cavalry archers. I mean if he if Tom Trudy could get enough up in time. That's definitely not a given. Okay, so we have the knights. Two knights versus three cavalry archers. Are we gonna see some intense micro? Yeah, he's on the hill. Hill bonus? Uh, nope. No hill bonus. Going down the hill? Uh, nope. Is he going up another hill? Hill bonus, hill bonus, hill bonus fight. And uh, nope. Okay. But Tom Trotty here is, even though he's not taking the hill bonus fights, getting a little micro action in, he has so many cavalry archers now. And, but he does not have ballistics. So his ability to cleanly take out these knights is going to be very limited. Cavalry archers, fire rate, like it really does suck sometimes. Oh, but the TC from Tom Trotty is assisting in fighting these knights. Okay, all right, so that, okay. Even, even Gaia is out, ooh, Tom Trudy, he was helping me, all right. Even Gaia is out here on Tom Trudy's side. And Eris is taking the relics. Okay, so maybe Eris is losing the fight. He's losing the fight intentionally, so he could sneak away with the relics. Keep your opponent busy. Attacking your army, 
and sneak off with relics. It's an interesting tactic, and I don't know how I feel about it. And Eris is gonna thank lose. You for the follow, Lolo. Grand Frank, so <laughs> thanks you for the follow. Hey, Lolo. Gathering's in the chat. Thank you for the follow, Gathering. Uh, I'm right now. I'm doing a, a series I call High Elo Noobs. High Elo Noobs, where we give high Elo players the low Elo treatment. You know, it's it's about time us low Elo legends fight back. And we have Tom Chuddy uh, playing Hunts versus Ares playing Hunts. Tom Chuddy, a bit of a meta slave here, going Cavalry Archers. And Ares, he's making Knights, he has Monksa, he's trying to get Relics. Even though Ares isn't uh, winning to. Ooh, good snipe on the, on the Monk. Even though Ares isn't doing too well, I'm still rooting for Aaron. That's because he is. Um, you know, going a bit off the meta, doing some interesting things. So I'm trying to hear has. I'm trying to see how much knight, how much cavalry does he have. He has. Come on, I can't double click it. Okay. Uh, CDO dragons in my chat. You, oh, CDO dragon, you can beat these guys. Yeah, I mean, listen, low elo noobs, high. Uh, low elo legends, high elo noobs. We're, we're all noobs at the end of the day. Okay, so I'm I'm pretty confident you can beat these two 1900 elo. Top uh, ten percent players. <laughs> what was no? Yeah, and Eris so far. Eris is, listen, okay. Tom Chuddy has the advantage. Ben Frank, if you hold long shift and click a unit, it switches to that player. Oh, for real, bro. Oh my God, that's a godsend. Why didn't I? Okay, who's who's the real noob here? Is it is it these guys in this game or is it is it old evil Ben Franco here? I think we know what the answer to that is. Okay, so Tom Chuddy definitely taking better fights, but Eris is secretly in the back, like booming up his eco. So I don't know. Maybe we're gonna see some. Maybe he's gonna come pull out the Tarkins and really surprise Tom Chuddy here. Oh, I'm wearing the Viking hat because I am evil Gwen Franklin. Okay, this is, you're not you're not talking to regular Gwen Franklin. Regular Gwen Franklin's a move. Yeah, casting is sad. It's like it's yeah. Cat, listen. Like props to to everybody who casts game in Age of Empires. This is a difficult game to cast, man. It's like it's like a, a whole skill that you you have to develop. You know, you might think to yourself, "Oh, did I just talk into the camera?" No, man. I mean, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. My voice is going dry. I don't know how T90 does this for like eight hours a day. And if you play insane, worse yet, when you're like uh, playing and trying to talk. Oof. Murder. It's murder on the mind, man. I mean, it, you, you feel like you, you've spent like 16 hours working. Okay, so, but we're getting we're getting our head back in this game. Tom Chuddy versus Eris. So far, in terms of who who is the high elo noob here, I feel like Eris has uh, been really making the, the more noob plays. But I would say, though, these knights are getting beefy. Evil Guan needs long hair under the hat. Um, no long hair for me, my friend. I could put on an afro, but I haven't had an afro since since the early two thousands. But that would be funny. Okay, so Tom Chad is losing a bit of momentum to these to these knights. Listen, we were saying that, uh, but why is Ares taking this fight under the TC? That don't 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 fight cavalry archers on the TC fire. That's that's not recommended. So it looks like uh, these knights are paying off for Ares so far. You need the under two thousand long here. It's like, uh, <laughs> ooh, we have uh, Ares is pulling off knight in Tom Chuddy's base. Okay, so we get we get in the raids going off, and Tom Chuddy he was Tom Chuddy was getting comfortable. Okay, yeah, so let's leave the knights to die in, in the middle of it. I hope you were doing something back at home that was. That made losing those three knights worth it. Okay, so Eris is really getting back in this game. He's ahead in the score. And okay, so folks, I think we have the answer. Being a meta slave is the real high elo noobery. Just because you're playing hunts, don't mean you have to go cavalry archers. Because 
it's really working out for Aeris massing up these knights. And it looks like they have their upgrades, they have the plus 2 attack and the plus 2 armor. Oh, and uh, Aeris has the, the monks out, healing the knights as he go. Listen, did I call this guy a high elo noob? No, oh, I take it back. Tom Truddy, you're hitting us the high elo noob noobery right now. But maybe that's how it goes. It swings, it swings back and forth, you know? First Aeris was giving us some noobery. Now it's Tom Truddy, Tom Truddy's turn to give us noobery. Aeris pulling off the middle TC to get the gold. Listen. Ooh, and Tom Tom Chuddy is losing a good bit of his HP to the Manganel fire. Once again, Eris is content to just fighting under the TC fire, and it, I, I'm afraid for this guy if Tom Chuddy decides to put a castle up, and the Manganel is gonna sneak. Oh, ho, ho. He lost so much HP, and it looks like Tom Chuddy is falling. He went for the meta slave play. He built he built a cavalry artist as he's supposed to with hunts. But the knights are just too strong from Eris. Eris pulled this game back from out of nowhere. Or maybe he was just never losing. Okay, and Tom Chuddy has the castle up. And he's trying to protect his uh, very forward gold there. But it looks like Tom Chuddy is going to fold a bit under the pressure of this push. I don't think he's I don't I don't see I don't see a world where Tom Chuddy comes back from this. It looks like I'm not gonna I'm not saying he should call the GG. So there's a low elo noob myself. I call if if you put any pressure on me, I call the GG immediately. But I'm just saying it's gonna be an uphill battle here for him. Let's take a look at Tom Chuddy's resources for a bit. Tom Chuddy, he has a lot of builds, um, idle and TCs. And he is losing those in his base and out at the gold. But Tom Truddy has lost, and Tom Truddy has also lost all his cavalry archers. So he's gonna have a hard time defending his base. He is, he is basically out of gold, but he does have a safe back gold there. Uh, but I mean, he could try to wall it, but it'll be too hard and probably won't be worth it. And Eris has oh so Tom Truddy's building a, a, another castle in the base, but as we see these um, ooh the the ramps are just gonna oh this is gonna oh this is gonna hurt. this this is Lolo, hurting to watch. Thank you for the follow, Lolo. Gwen Frank, so thank you for the you follow, for the follow Lolo. Okay, so Tom Truddy manages to get the castle up in time, and it has good a decent HP on it. But Eris has knights in his base, and a lot of them will go down to these cavalry archers. So it looks like uh, Tom Truddy will manage to to save his base momentarily. So even though these these players are a bit lower on the high elo ladder than I, these are nineteen hundred players. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Jenga. Yes, to you too, my friend. So I normally cast a little bit higher elo for the, these high elo noob games, but I, I'd say so far these 1900 players have been pulling uh, much more varied games than what I've seen in the, the high elo. Maybe the higher you go, it's it's like a curve where you get a little bit more noobish, like you just get wacky, you just get wacky into all kinds of kinds of weird things because you know you can at that point. You got nothing to lose. So we have Eris making. Two forward castles, and I think he wants to secure the gold. And as you can see, I have a range mod here because I'm a noob myself. So he is going to be able to get Tom Truddy off of his forward gold. But Tom Truddy does have a safe goal in the back, so he'll do very well there uh, to get gold for a while. Maybe keep himself in this game a little longer. I'm looking at his production. He's not producing any army right now, and Ares is producing knights. So right now, Ares has 19 knights out. And Tom Truddy is booming on the 4 TCs. While Tom Truddy has 6 TCs.
And the Takens are out. So, so Tom Chuddy has sent two Takens out. The solo raid. Eris's base. Okay. Okay, my friend. An interesting choice. We have an outpost out here. That's gonna give him vision on something. Oh, Tom Chuddy's going in for the raid. So somehow Eris lost his momentum. He has two forward castles that aren't really doing anything. And Tom Chuddy has 14 caveatches that he is going to micro and try to pick off these knights. But I don't think that's gonna work out very well for him. At least he okay. Okay, he just called a GG. Yeah, so I mean like I thought, you know, I mean there's only so much he could do. With just some cavalry archers and Tom Chuddy, he uh he went a bit off conventional. He didn't go for the cavalry archers. He decided he's gonna go for the knights. He lost some very decisive fights early on in the game, but he still managed to come back. And it looked at first like Ares was our high elo noob this game, but it turns out in the end that Tom Chuddy was the real high elo noob. But that's okay. Because we all get housed sometimes. And that's the slogan. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the stats before we jump into the next game. And Ares managed to sweep um, all of the scoreboard except for the military. Tom Chuddy still having a better military squad than him, even though it didn't matter in the end. Eris still managed to kill a lot more units. And Eris managed to outboom Tom Chuddy in food and gold, which was very decisive in building that Fort and Castle Age army. Okay, 